Praise God, everybody. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I know it's late to show you this, and they are really messing with my lives, but it is what it is. I'm going to keep on trekking. I ain't got to my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this video. And um, it is about prayer and fasting. And the reason why I wanted to do it, because it was so powerful, it's just 11 minutes. And I want to share with you, with you all, especially the serious ones. Okay, so here we go. Self to God in constipation to fast and pray. Everybody say, I've done it. Commit yourself means that you have decided you're going to make this to the end. Whatever you decide, you can go seven days. You say, Lord, I ain't going to break that. I'm going to go 14 days. I'm not going to break that. You can go 21 days. I'm going to break that. You got to commit yourself to it. And consecration is important. Consecration means I am going to dedicate myself to what I promise unto God. Surrender to God. Number two, when you're fasting, you got to drink plenty of water. And I want to warn you, you'll hear this over and over again during this fast. All the leaders will tell you or oftentimes remind you, drink plenty of water. Why? Because your body is reducing or, or emitting or getting rid of a lot of junk, poisons. And those poisons could actually make you sick if you don't get rid of them. So you need to get that water. The water will cleanse them, flush you out all the time, keep you very healthy. And by the way, you should drink at least eight glasses of water every day, beginning tonight. Start drinking water. Eight glasses, count the glasses tomorrow, get them down. If you can get more than that, it's wonderful. But no less than that, because your body can start dealing with some stuff tomorrow already. And it needs to get rid of that stuff. Number three, also drink hot herbal teas. We allow this. Cranberry juice is a good cleanser. By the way, it's a very, very good uh, source of... Uh, of natural vitamins to help your body rebuild itself and also apple juice is not too acidic so you can use that but these are the only ones that we permit on a fast like this because these will help you cleanse your body and help you wash all the garbage out while you're on a fast uh, uh, guidelines when you fast remember that your body is disrupting its habit if you ate three times a day you'll have a lot of challenges if you ate twice a day, it reduces it by one. If you ate once a day, you reduce it by two. If you ate five times a day, like some of you might be struggling with, you got yourself a challenge. Now, the more you eat and the more often you ate, the greater the challenge to break the power of your body. Now, here's quickly what I want to say because I want you to understand, I want you to have a good time on this fast. Today was easy, wasn't it? No problem. No, easy. no problem. Today was easy. Tomorrow is going to be fairly easy too. You're going to find, but you know, uh, if you ate breakfast or lunch and dinner at those times, you will find that your saliva will begin to talk to you because that's, remember that your tongue is tied to your rectum. Okay? Everybody all right with that? Yeah. Your tongue is the top of your rectum. Your rectum is the bottom of your tongue. All your intestines and attached to it is your stomach. Your stomach is a part of your tongue and your rectum. Your intestine is a part of your tongue and your rectum. Now, when you eat food, it goes down into your stomach. Your stomach then produces gases. Acid gases. Everybody say acid gases. The gases they produce, gastric juices, they call it gastric juices. And what they do is they, the acid breaks down the food you just ate, and it actually makes it absorbable to go into the lining of the stomach and then it goes of course down into the intestines the intestines then take all the things from it that you need to get you know and then it takes the garbage and put inside your rectum and then it comes out now the stuff that is liquid that is garbage the body would take it and put it in the kidneys if there's contamination in the blood it put it in the liver if it's just junk garbage it puts it in the rectum Okay, the low intestines. And so what the body's doing is it's producing this juice to break down the foods. Now, what do you think about acid, okay? The first thing that your stomach produces is acid when food comes. The acid breaks down the food. Everybody with me? Once you, once you get rid of it, 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 it will happen tomorrow. So I want you to get used to it. When that acid comes, the acid is time because of your habit. Your brain sends a message. Eight o'clock, time to eat breakfast. So the brain knows that every eight o'clock, every morning you eat breakfast, or seven o'clock, whatever. Seven o'clock, you always ate this this cereal or juice or apple or something. The brain is used to that. It's called habit. So the brain says, here comes cereal. There ain't no cereal there, right? But the brain is telling the body, here comes cereal. Why? It's, it's 7 o'clock. So the brain says, get ready, stomach. Stomach says, thank you very much. And then the, the neutrons send a message to the stomach, produce gastric juices. Why? 
cereal is coming so no cereal comes now because you're fasting but the stomach produces the gastric juices acid now the acid <laughs> acid burns doesn't it so the acid now is looking for the cereal i said where's the cereal and so it has no cereal to digest so it begins to digest the lining of the stomach now your stomach is filled with food that's been there for seven months or to a year did you know that <laughs> doctors talk to me see dr simmons will tell you that your colon is so full of old food you'll be afraid to look at it you got food in your stomach that's been there for seven years <laughs> What do you think caused colon cancer? Colon cancer is rottening food that's been there for seven, eight years that's finally rottening the lining of your colon. The colon is your intestines, whole food. Now, that's why fasting is good. Fasting finally gives the body a chance to start burning out all the garbage that's been kicked up along your stomach. The old pipe in your back has been there for seven years, the old pipe, 10 years, old pipe. You're, you're putting your finger on the old pipe. Okay, move a little thing on your zinc tonight and just put your finger there and lift it up. And you'll see all that stuff that's been all that old soap, all that old brine, all here and thing. That's how your, your stomach looks. That's how your intestine. Whole food. Now, every time you you, you, you actually use your, your basin, whatever you flush goes past all that. It stays. Am I, am I coming through? That's how your system works. So when you, when you eat new food, it doesn't push out the old food. You, know, you don't think it does. The old food is so caked up on the corners and the walls of your intestines and on your stomach that the new food just comes through and comes up. And then some of it stays and cakes up. So it keeps building, building, building. And then you end up with cancer of the stomach, cancer of the colon, etc. What happens when you're fasting is the fasting finally gives the gastric juices a chance to start burning the stuff caked up on your stomach. And that's when you say, I got gas. You are correct. <laughs> The acid begins to what? Burn the lining of the stomach, all that stuff, and it gives off the gas. So your stomach becomes bloated by the gas. Simple solution. Uh, what's, what's another word for releasing gas? Anyhow, I can't. You're smart. What's that? A nurse would tell me. What is it? Flat, flat you who? Say it again. What? No wonder why we say boom. What's that? That's a deep word, man. Flatulates. Flatulates. I am flatulating. No, 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 no one can remember that word. <laughs> Anyhow, everybody following me? See, I want you to enjoy the fast. I don't want you to let the devil tell you you're dying. When I learned about fast, I was 16 years old. That's why I fasted 28 days, I told you. Because I, I read this book, and a book by, by Franklin, I forgot his last name, my mother had this book, and I read this book, and I said, the fasting is, is simple. Once you know what's going on. Now, what do you do when, when acids are produced in your stomach? Easy. What dilutes acid? Liquid. So you drink water. That's all. So I guarantee you, tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning your body going to say, it's breakfast time. Now, remember, your body talking to you. Not the devil. <laughs> it's breakfast time. How does, the, how does the body say it? It's, re, it's releasing these gases. What do you do? You take a glass of water and you drink it. You go to work. And then around, now some of y'all got midday snacks and things, you know, and some of y'all got problems. <laughs> if you always eat something at 11 o'clock, here comes that juice again. So you got to drink something again. In other words, every time you feel that little tingling, that's just gas acids in your stomach. You got to flush them out. And that goes on until the body begins to catch on. And the body says, you know something? Uh, there ain't, ain't nothing coming down here. <laughs> so what are you doing? You're breaking the mental habit in the brain. So the brain says, reduce, release gases. And the stomach sends a message back and says, there's nothing here. So around the six or seven day, which is the hardest days, is when the stomach and the brain have some real chat, you know, chatting going on. That's when the brain says, release. And the stomach says, ain't nothing here. And the brain says, still release. And the stomach says, ain't nothing here. And the brain says, you better release. And the stomach says, ain't nothing here. And then eventually on the eighth day, the brain says, I ain't telling you to release nothing no more. Hey, boys, say freedom. Yeah. Say it loud. Yeah. That's when you're free. That's when you're free. You got to get to the point where you're free. 
the way you become free is to keep that water flowing. Keep that water flowing. And you're going to find your urination is going to change because you're going to, going to, going to turn different colors because all the garbage is coming up. And around the eighth or ninth day, your, your urine will turn very, very clear. You're purified. purified. After that, it's fine. You can look at food and never have a desire. The next four days, don't look at food too much. <laughs> I'm wasting Jesus. <laughs> because psychologically, your mind going to say, I already tasted that. You can taste it in your mind. So it releases gastric juices. You got problems. Okay? But once you're free, you can do it. Is that helpful to you? Well, you understand that, okay? Last thing, no, no juices, please. Why? Because orange juice is high in acid, and that's what you're trying to get rid of. Pineapple juice, high in acid. Grapefruit juice, no, 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 no. Because you know, you, you, you're actually making your stomach worse. You want to re, you want to reduce the acidic intake in your body during a fast, because your body is throwing off acids or producing acids rather, and you want to get them out. Is that clear? All right, you guys. So basically, I just Hi, wanted you, you to, so I just really wanted you to, um, you know, this man was such a great mentor. I'm, I'm never going to let him, his memory pass, period, in the story. And I believe that this was very powerful as far as you actually seeing what's happening, those that are on the fast. So, and if you want to go and look at it yourself, this is it. Four keys to fast effectively with instant results by Dr. Miles Monroe. Okay. So if you want to go and see it, but I just wanted to introduce it to you guys because it's very powerful. You know, you need to know what's going on with your body. You know, um, I'm going to do a video tomorrow. I'm not going to do it tonight. And you guys going to understand why the enemy fights our body. I'm not going to talk about it tonight, but I'm going to talk about it later. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I stay on the wall, y'all. All right, Real Lot Soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.